Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a Conda environment. Um, not actually much how to use it uh, and how to remove it. I just follow this course guide. The uh, link will be in the description. So Conda is a way to have isolated environments. And within a Conda environment, you install your own things and you can switch those environments uh, to your liking. And uh, to do this on RackHam, so I'm already logged in on RackHam. Uh, we have to do a uh, load the module conda well, module load conda you see it goes to the next line because of the because it doesn't fit but it's really one line it will give us some 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 text about where the con of environment path is you i don't need it now but you if you ever need it uh, it's here also it remembers us reminds us to do conda clean dash a once in a while all right so it's great i have loaded the conda module and at the right hand side it tells us where this conda environment is like two now we're going to create a conda environment uh, i will paste it and i will it's already running uh, i'll describe a bit what it does and then this takes about 10 minutes so i, have, I will stop the video what it does, it will create a conda environment, conda create, with a name called python 36-env, so that's the name of the conda environment, and it uses python 3.6, the python package numpy 1.13.1, and matplotlib, also a python package version 2.2.2. .2 so it will create that environment. Uh, this will take quite some time. So later on, I will activate it, I will deactivate it, and, spoiler, you can also create an environment, let's make this a bit bigger, you can also create a conda environment by using a file, um, an environment.yaml file. I don't do this here, but you can create such an environment file. Also using conda, you end you do conda and export to the file called environment.yaml uh, this is more or less how it looks like with the correct names and correct channels and correct package versions um, and then you create a conda environment using this um, so now it's creating this conda environment this really take takes some time um, later on we'll activate it um, but for now, I will stop this video uh, because it will take some time. Uh, Alright, uh, enjoy waiting too. Well, no, I will remove the video. See you soon. So after 10 minutes, it will ask you the question if you want to install all these package versions. Just press enter or Y. So you see the Y is between square brackets, so it means you can press enter to say what yes. But you can also type the Y and do enter. Um, and then it will do this step. It will also take a couple of minutes. So uh, I'll see you soon there. So after some minutes, the Python environment is created. And it will give you the, the code to activate it and to deactivate. Let's go scroll up and see a bit what it did. So the last step, it was installing all the uh, packages. So these are all the packages. And there's some warnings here about some, this is about some programming problems. So that was it has been doing for 50 minutes, looking for which packages and which versions to, to get. All right, let's activate the conda environment. I'm just gonna copy paste this thing. And now I have this environment activated. You can see this here between the round braces. You can see that I'm now in the Python 36 and environment and this means when I install anything I like uh, I can uh, it will be saved to this environment and so I can switch between multiple independent environments so when I'm done doing that I do conda deactivate and now deacti deactivate so and now I'm in the regular environment again in the base environment it's recommended to 
to for different environments to always to never use the base environment but if you only use one environment maybe it's it's, it's good enough for you um, yeah corner deactivate that's what I did so this is how to use Conda at Max. And I wish you a very good day. Bye.